What's up everyone? It's Mark Shalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and we're coming right back at you with yet another spectacular piece. Today, we are presenting an absolutely stunning, uh, eye-catching, simply gorgeous 1993 Scylla Ferrari F40 coin-operated kitty ride. Got to come a little closer and uh, check this out. So the first thing I want to say is MS Classic Cars officially is in the vintage kitty ride uh, business now. Uh, we not only are into classic cars and trucks, uh, motorcycles, mini bikes, pedal cars, but also, yes, kitty rides. I uh, want to give credit uh, where credit is due at MS Classic Cars. We are not in the restoration business. We buy number one and number two condition show quality pieces. We take great pride in servicing everything, detailing them to a high level, and doing these great uh, presentations. Um, so please visit our website, msclassiccars.com. We have a great description of this uh, unit here with a ton of great photos, etc. But I want to give credit uh, to where credit is due. Uh, Jeff Russell, uh, who is the owner of Big Boy Toys in Oklahoma, uh, deserves all the credit for not only finding this rare piece, but also performing this outstanding restoration. Uh, Jeff and I have become friends and we're definitely going to be doing more business in the future. So, uh, this company here has actually been uh, in existence in Italy since 1972. Uh, two cousins actually started the company. They're still in business today. Uh, they are recognized for doing all sorts of uh, different kitty rides. Uh, they even now do boats, bumper cars, things of that nature. Uh, but this particular uh, unit here was uh, obviously designed uh, to represent a Ferrari F40. They absolutely nailed it. Um, again, it's a 1993, so we're already over 30 years old. Definitely falls into the vintage category. Uh, as I said, it's a really rare piece. The reason I wanted to do this video here um, is to really highlight some of the details here. So first of all, Jeff did an amazing job of stripping down this body, uh, making it really, really straight. Um, and then of course they did a show quality paint job and the guys in our detail department did a great job uh, just giving it a final uh, buff, if you will. But some of the things that I wanted to point out here, um, besides the Ferrari red uh, paint that is on here, I believe the code was S41. It does have a lot of black uh, accents over the headlight covers. Uh, here in the front uh, bumper area, uh, you will see the body line that actually surrounds the entire vehicle. Um, you will see some of the air ducts up here, air ducts over here. Uh, now, what Jeff had done when he did the restoration is he added these LED fender lights just to give it a little bit of character. Um, again, did an outstanding job. When this unit was originally produced, uh, the dash here, which has all been painted black, the whole entire cabin is actually black, including the steering wheel. Obviously, this contoured seat here, they did in red. You can see where the black actually wraps around the back of the seat. It's really cool. It even has a decal that has simulated uh, gauges on there. But what he did is the original coin uh, slot was actually in the dash, and there was a little key there. The mechanisms would fold down. You could access your uh, coin box there to retrieve your uh, change and so forth. But what he did is he filled all that in and he made it look a little bit more seamless. And he added the mechanism to the side here on the uh, driver's side, if you will, of the piece. Again, this is brand new, it's chrome. You don't need to put a coin in here. You can just push this button, which I'm gonna demonstrate for you in a second. But he did a really nice job with that. Uh, these actually here, these rims were also painted uh, the same color as the windshield. And the tires actually have the brand of the company right on them. Uh, same thing with the ones in the back. They are a little bit of a different size uh, front and back. Not sure if you can really tell that in the video, but they clearly are. Uh, and again, if you make your way around the back here, Check out this attention to detail, uh, this rear spoiler here with these uh, really cool taillights and exhaust system. Now, another modification that Jeff had made, these originally came with one light in the rear. 
and they were a little bit lower. He actually raised them up. He added another light just to give it extra character, and he is the one who actually incorporated uh, these three exhaust pipes in the back, uh, which again came out absolutely stunning. Uh, you wait till you see this thing operate, it's amazing. And then of course, this whole entire unit sits on a metal base. Um, this is actually like a metal fiberglass, it's a metal frame fiberglass set up there. It was all painted obviously in the high gloss black to match the rest of everything else. And again, he added brand new uh, steps here. This is where the child would stand on and get into the piece. Also um, added the Ferrari letters with the Italian flag colors. I think he absolutely nailed this. Please understand these are not readily available. They are extremely rare, extremely expensive to restore. Uh, we do not just bring a trailer where this is going to be selling with no reserve. So again, make sure if you don't know about bring a trailer, check out that website, register to bid. It's a huge opportunity, uh, but we are going to also be featuring these on our website over time uh, at Barrett Jackson, where they do very, very well there. Uh, some of these particular rides have gotten into the 30, 40, 50, $60,000 price range. Again, do your homework. They're extremely valuable. And again, we are offering this for the first time at no reserve. It has never been listed for sale. Truly a great opportunity. Again, check out our website, msclassiccars.com. I'm gonna go ahead right now and uh, let you watch it operate. You gotta pay attention to the sound box, which plays real F40 cars racing. It is truly spectacular. Enjoy the show. Yeah. 